Have you ever had that issue where you're finished painting a furniture piece or any other piece with either chalk paint or normal latex oil-based paint and then there is wood bleed through? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it. my channel so for this week's video I'm sharing with you my top secret top technique to get rid of wood bleed through. This is by far my most frequently asked question that I get from you guys and I've answered it so many times but I haven't dedicated a video to it so this is my technique that I have used for a really long time to fix this and it's worked for me every single time in the past so without further ado let's get into the video. For this fix, you're going to need this miracle product. It's the shellac by Zinzer. And the paint that you choose to use. I'm using Rust-Oleum Chalked in Linen White. You're also going to need a paintbrush and a foam brush. And sandpaper. This is all I had. We're being scrappy here. First, on this particular piece, I just removed the knobs so I didn't get paint or shellac on it. Then you want to just lightly sand the bleed through surfaces. Take your foam brush and paint a thin layer over the bleed through spots. You want to do thin layers so you don't get a lot of gloop. do two coats of shellac so in between coats if you didn't know you can stick your paintbrush or sponge or whatever in a ziploc bag or plastic wrap and it'll save it and keep it from drying out while you're waiting between coats so once it's dry the first coat you're going to want to lightly sand it just to roughen it up One hour later. Once the second coat is dry, you're gonna wanna sand it smooth so it'll be a nice smooth finish. Don't sand it too much because you wanna leave the shellac on there. Then you just go ahead and paint over everything once again. Now I'm painting over the entire piece here and that's because I'm using a different paint than was on there before. But if you're using the same paint, you just need to kind of spot paint. Now I did two coats of this paint. It's really up to you. So use your own judgment on how many coats of paint you wanna do. And this is what they look like all finished. for watching this video. I hope this helps you out. I know that so many of you have sent me this question before. Hopefully if you have encountered this problem or encounter it in the future, this video will help you out. Also, if you have any other tips other than this one to fix bleed through, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. That's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will see you in the next video as always. Bye guys.